They started to go up around Tuesday, and I think business started to dwindle around that time, but it didn't hit rock bottom until probably Friday or Saturday. The liquor store was practically non-existent in terms of business. Uh, we didn't have locals going there. Um, most of our clientele were the officers who are sort of, you know, vetting people as they come in and out. And so I assume they're not allowed to drink or they're not drinking uh, for the event. We expected large crowds of people um, to be out and about shopping, um, visiting the stores. I, I never imagined that an overwhelming majority of our uh, customer base would just be the staff of the event, essentially. If we were right outside the perimeter, no one would come in. No one would want to leave the perimeter to get coffee. They'll be like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just get hotel coffee. Like, it'll be fine. We are in such a good position right now. If we sold anything other than coffee, I think we'd get a lot less. There have been a lot of people coming in looking for food, and I'm like, I don't have food, I'm a coffee shop, and they leave. But, you know, everyone needs coffee. I put out a sign that was like right in the walkway that was like, Canary Coffee this way. And then people have just been coming in because they're on their walk there, they get coffee and it's been great. I hope that the RNC, if not immediately, uh, at least over time has a positive impact on Milwaukee, obviously, because you know, there are other ways that these types of events can benefit a city.